it, it might take the detail too, but really the primary purpose of this type of software is to connect to all your financial institutions and take the ending balance. So it creates the balance sheet quite well. And it doesn't only connect to the bank here, it can connect to all your financial institutions. So it can basically connect, create your financial balance sheet and then you'd have to supplement it with anything else. In other words, it can connect to your bank account, get your checking account, it can connect to your savings account, it can connect to your investment accounts to pull in your stock and bonds, your 401k plan, most likely. It can connect to your liability accounts to pull in things like mortgages, credit card payments, loans. And so all the financial stuff that you would get reported from you from a financial institution, either on the balance sheet side or income statement side, it can pull in and give you a very quick balance sheet. So you can see there, it would be quite easy to create a balance sheet from software like this. Although any non-financial institution related thing you would have to add, meaning such as the house, the house isn't on the financial statement. The mortgage related to the house is would be gotten from the institution, the financial institution, but the value of the house itself wouldn't be on there. You'd have to get an appraisal and add that. Any household goods, a car, that kind of stuff, you'd have to kind of supplement on it. So in that case, you, what you're doing, instead of taking the data to compile using the double entry accounting system, the ending balance, you're just taking the ending balance. And that's great. It's really, it's kind of easy to make a balance sheet that way, but you don't have that same kind of detail. Well, I can, like in, in a QuickBooks and an accounting software, I can kind of double click. I can drill down. I can see exactly what the accounts were made of. I can see the detail. You can't see that as easily directly from the creation of the financial statements. Although this software may also download the checking data to give you the detail of the checking but then you're going to have to use that checking detail in order to make the income statement. In other words, you can see how this software does the statement for a point in time, the balance sheet, quite easily. But it's not compiling the income statement because it's not using the double entry accounting system. You may still be able to download the transactions from the bank, but then you're going to have to do the compiling yourself when you think about the income statement, meaning grouping the cash inflows and outflows into categories and whatnot. You'll have to do a little bit more work to do that categorization on the income statement. So again, it pulls ending balances from the financial institutions. It, crea it creates a really quick balance sheet from your financial institutions, which is great. Does not create the income statement easily. That's the problem. It does not use the double entry accounting system. So when you're using this system to check whether you made errors or whether someone like stole your money or something like that, you're trying to reconcile your bank account and that kind of thing, it doesn't do that stuff well because it, you're not using the double entry accounting system. It's just pulling in the ending balances. You're not really looking at the activity. You're just saying, here's where I was last time. Here I am this time. If I want the detail, then I got to make it myself. It may be faster, however, because it, it does create the balance sheet very fast. And then you got to think about is compiling the income statement on a periodic basis, putting it together in some way that, that might be a little bit more difficult than the accounting software uh, worth the time as opposed to entering the data into accounting software where I'm using a double entry accounting system and I got to deal with that whole thing of entering the data on a double entry accounting system. So of the two softwares, the first, the accounting software would be things like QuickBooks. So if you're actually doing the double entry accounting system, you could use QuickBooks you, and you might say, well, that's a business software. I can't, it's, say, it's the same double entry accounting system. I mean, you can name the accounts differently, but if you want to use a double entry accounting system, to, to verify and double check your your work it's good to do that it just it's the pros and cons that the risk versus reward the time it takes to do it versus versus um the benefits you get from it that's that's the question zero is another online software that's popular wave accounting i think this is free it was the last time i looked at it i haven't looked at it for a long time but this one's actually free and it does that double entry accounting system and these all these three connect to the bank too. So they connect to the bank, but remember they don't connect and pull in the big ending balances. They're not gonna connect to your investment accounts and pull in the ending balances of your investments. They're gonna generally be designed to connect to your checking account and pull in the activity, the inflows and outflows from the checking account, which you will then need to assign to particular asset and liability account or expense accounts usually and income accounts and and that and then it will create the balance sheet by by doing the double entry accounting system instead of pulling in the ending balance and then you have quicken 
Now, Quicken, notice this used to be owned by the same owners of, in, of uh, QuickBooks, which was Intuit, but now it's owned by somebody else. And I haven't even, I haven't seen it since it's been owned by somebody else, but it used to be marketed from Intuit as a software that, that was more on the individual basis. So this one I put on both lists because I think it does some things that are double entry accounting. And I think it does some things that are, are the second method we'll look at, which is the ending balances, which actually makes it, I would think, a little bit more complex, meaning this is kind of more advanced individual software because it's, it's, I think it's taking into consideration some components of the double entry accounting system and trying to pull in the ending balances, which again, that gets a little, gets, gets a little confusing, although it might have a whole lot more functionality. And I don't know how it's been really since the new owners into it, the owners of QuickBooks. QuickBooks is a huge company. So, you know, I don't know who owns it now and, and how, you know, how good it is since, since it's been uh, removed there, but it's more advanced 